Hello, I'm Kirill Dimitrov, chair of MIPI M5 Working Group. I work at Western Digital Corporation as a technical IP manager and standardization expert. And today I'm going to talk about M5 and M5 usages. So M5 is a versatile physical layer targeting applications with particular need for high speed, low ping counts, and lane scalability, and it has to be very power efficient. Um, M5 is a base physical layer for JEDEC UFS storage, um, UFS 2.0, 3.0, and the new one or upcoming 4.0. It is poised to be the dominant mobile storage interface deployed in the 5G enabled smartphones and mobile ecosystem. So when, why M5 was created? The first M5 was created to meet the constant demand for efficient high-speed communication in mobile systems. And historically we have a high demand that keeps on going and growing year over year, uh, starting with the high resolution images and the requirement for more and more high speed storage for that kind of application and that kind of demand the m5 was created to allow the high speed communication between the applications inside your mobile device so what m5 is used for um, M4 is used for flash memory storage and chip-to-chip -chip communication applications for mobile, mobile influenced and automotive ecosystems. For example, the, the usage of M4 in JEDEC UFS storage, which is the dominant storage today in the mobile ecosystems. Um, in the past, M4 was used for MPCIe and also for DGRF communication application. So M M5 key features. M5 is a M5 version five is a fifth generation mobile physical layer, and it has been there from 2014 for quite some time. And there is a big trust in the mobile ecosystem for m and what m brings with it. Um, m has high performance with peak transmission rate of 23.32 gigabits per lane, starting from version five. It has low power, low latency, and allows efficient architecture and design. It is excellent for battery powered systems mobile and mobile influence systems. Low EMI, it has the ability not to interfere with the Wi-Fi frequencies inside the phone or with other uh, frequencies that are used for RF communication. It is optimized for advanced storage and tied for specific storage features that were introduced in the current version of M5 version 5, and which will make the storage use case more efficient with this physical layer. It has extensive debug features, for example, an eye monitor that will allow um, a visual inspection of the signal quality during normal operation. So M M5 has a few strengths and we also see future opportunities. And so for the strengths, M5 is the dominant um, mobile interface that which is used for storage JEDEC UFS. It is dominant in the high-end 4G, 5G smartphones. Um, it is also getting introduced and you can already find some IoT applications that use UFS and in particular M5 as its physical layer. For opportunities, there is a possible growth in the further IoT expansion and automotive segment expansion as part of the continuous 
the usage of the UFS application and its integration in those segments. If you're interested to find out more about MPRI, you are welcome to join the working group if you're a MIPI contributor member. A MIPI website and MPRI working group are in front of you, and you can also email the MIPI admin to, for more information. And that's all for today. Thank you very much.